Very often, when you're searching for a local business in Google, one of the first results that comes up organically is a Facebook business page. That is why it is so important you have a business page for your business and of course optimize it right. So in today's video, I will show you from start to finish how to create and optimize your Facebook business page. I will also share tips on where to find free images and how to create your very own Facebook cover and profile. And finally, I will show you how you can get your first 100 likes for free with a little effort on your part. So let's dive in right away. So step number one, head over to facebook.com. You need to create a personal profile page or account before you can create a business page. And this is so that Facebook has an administrator on file who's managing the business page. To create an account with Facebook is really quick and easy as it says here. All you need to complete is your name, your last name, telephone number, password, date of birth, your gender, and then you need to click on sign up. That's how easy it is. Once you're logged into your profile page, click here on create on the top right hand corner and then click on page. This will bring you to this page where you have to choose between two categories. The first category is called business or brand. You need to select this option if you're a business, however big or small, that sells products or services. If you are a public figure, for example, a musician, church group, or any kind of organization, then you need to select the second option. If you select the second option, make sure your page name is something that is short, brandable, and makes it obvious what your page is about. I'm going to select the first option, business or brand. So I'm going to hit get started. So basically in here, you want to put your business name if you are a business. For my case, I'm going to put avocados in Kenya because I want to create a business page related to avocados in Kenya. For the category, you want to choose something that best represents your business. So start typing different keywords that represent your business. So for example, in my case, I'm going to add here farming. Okay, agricultural service. Yep, that's pretty accurate. And if Facebook asks for your address, then you want to put that in here as well. This will make sense later on when we fill in our about information. So I'm going to add my address here and also my telephone number so that people can reach me. Once you have done that, you want to click on continue. So you want to make sure that your profile picture is super simple and remember that this image will be shown at a small size in people's Facebook feed. So make sure you pick something that looks good even at a smaller size. A free website that I recommend is called Pixabay. Pixabay has millions of images that are royalty free and are super good quality and also have a lot of variety. So I do recommend Pixabay if you are short of images and you need free images for your Facebook page. So for example, I need an image for my profile picture. Say I want to download this one here, I simply click on it, then click on free download here on the right hand corner and then click on download. So next you wanna add a nice cover image to your page. I'm gonna skip this step for now and head straight to our dashboard area. So this is our dashboard area. And as you can see at the moment, it's quite blank, it's naked, and we only have our profile picture at the moment. So another really neat website that I recommend is Canva. And if you watched a few Facebook tutorials, you probably might have heard of it already. Canva is a wonderful website that you can use for creating Facebook covers, profile pictures, YouTube thumbnails, and so much more. You can sign up with your Google account or your Facebook account. If you want to create your profile pic, click on create design. Then you want to customize the dimensions. For your Facebook profile, you need the dimensions 360 by 360 pixels. And then click on create design. Then you can customize any of these professional looking profile templates. Now for your Facebook cover, again, click on create design. 
This time we can scroll down to select Facebook cover. So that's a pre-built template. So there are tons of templates that you can choose from here. I'm going to choose this one and modify it. So next I want to click on photos here on the left hand corner and search for avocado. And I'm going to select this picture here, which is free. Okay, I'm just going to expand it. Send it backwards. And then I'm going to add my text here and a little avocado element here as well. Once you are happy with your Facebook cover image, you can download it here at the top right hand corner. Click on download. So if I head on back to my Facebook business page. I can upload that photo now by clicking on upload photo. Select the photo from your computer. Click on open. And voila. The next thing I like to do is just to post something out from the page so that it is not totally empty. And this can be a very simple image or a blog post or anything at all, really. So I'm going to post this random link that I found with some information about the benefits of avocados. So I'm just going to paste the link in here. And then I'm going to click on share now. Also, another thing I like to do is to click on my Facebook cover and to add a description of the image as well as a link to my website or social media platforms, so depending on what you want to link there. This can be really useful when people decide to share your cover. The next step is to add a call to action button to your page. This is a great opportunity to encourage your visitors to take action, such as visiting your website, uh, making a booking, learn more about your business, maybe send you a message, and generate more leads and sales. So click on the add a button link. You will see a list of categories that you can choose from. And within each category, you have several options available. For example, if you are a local business and you want people to be able to contact you, you can choose the call now option. In my case, I'm going to choose the learn more option, which will redirect people to my website. So click on website link and add your website details. Then click on save and then click on finish. Facebook is a very dominating and powerful tool. And oftentimes when you search for something in Google, a Facebook page will pop up. For this reason, it's really important that you fill all possible information on your page, as it's very likely that this is the first impression that you will give to your visitors. So the next step is to fill out your about details. On the left hand side, click on the arrow pointing downwards and then you want to select about. So here where it says edit page info, click on that and fill in all your business information. So you want to add a description. You want to add more keywords relating to your business, add your telephone number, your website address, email, and your business address and all the blank fields that are related to your business. Make sure that you click save for each individual field. And once complete, you want to X out. Also here in this empty box, click in the middle and add your business story so that visitors can find out a bit more about you. So you can add an image. Also, you can add at least one or two paragraphs about your business story and a link to your website or social media platforms. Another great feature that Facebook has introduced is automatic messages. So for example, you can set up a greeting message when people contact you on Messenger. Now to set this up, click on settings at the top right hand corner and then click on messaging on the top left hand side. Then click on the jump to section link next to the starting a messenger conversation. Turn on the show a messenger greeting and customize the message to suit your business by clicking on the change button. 
So at the moment, this is the default message here. You can change it to whatever you want. You can also click on personalization, which will enable Facebook to add either their first name or last name to the message. So anyone opening a conversation with you will receive this message, which includes their first name, for example. And then click on save. Once you have set up your automated greeting, what I recommend is that you scroll down and you also set up the automated responses. So whenever you can't respond straight away, this will send out an automated response or reply to your visitors, um, just letting them know that you will contact them later. Click here on setup, scroll down a bit and then click on edit. At the moment, it says, hi, Dora, thanks for your message. We're away and can't respond at this time. We appreciate you getting in touch. So you can customize it as you like. You can also add a personalization here uh, by clicking on add personalization and then click on whatever you want Facebook to add. So either their first name, surname. And once you are happy with this, you can then click on save and then click on page here on the left hand corner so that we can move on to the next step. By default, Facebook will set up your page with a standard navigation menu on the left hand side. You have the option to customize these as you like by clicking on settings and select the templates and tabs option. If you scroll down, you will see a list of the default options available in your current menu. To change their order, simply drag and drop the menu tab you want to move. I also like to add reviews to my Facebook business page because reviews are such a powerful tool. You can also turn off any tab by clicking on settings and then click off. So you can see the updated navigation menu here on the left hand corner. I've got posts, reviews, services, photos, about, community and videos. So the final thing is that you want to set up a page URL. You need 25 likes in order to do that. Once you have 25 likes, you can do this by clicking on create page at username. Ideally, you want to make your page URL the same as your actual page name. But if this is already taken, that's not a huge deal at all. Just find some kind of alternative. So for example, avocados in Kenya is still available, which is great. But if it wasn't, I could try something like avocadosinkenya.com or Kenyan avocados. And then you want to click on create username. One of the easiest ways to gain your first likes is to invite your friends and family to like the page, obviously. I would say the fastest way to get lots of targeted likes to your page is quite simply with Facebook ads. It's easy to do and they can be surprisingly cheap as well. However, if you're just starting out, here's another technique that you can use to get targeted likes to your page for absolutely free. So all you have to do is find groups that are related to your niche and that allow pages to join them. So for example, I can search for uh, stuff like avocado, avocado oil, avocados in Kenya, so things related to avocados, then hover over the join button and it will tell you whether pages are allowed to join. Then join several groups in this way and just wait a little while to be accepted into each group. Once you're accepted into each group, it's time to post some content inside each one related to your niche. Now you can do this simply by resharing posts from your page into the group which will also display a link back to your page below. Or you can just upload an image directly into the group. Often you start to get some kind of like straight away as people find your page inside the group. But the real magic happens once you wait a while and then come back. Because what you can do is to click on all of the people who have liked the post and then you can invite them to like your page. So that's one of the easiest ways that you can get free likes and get your business page growing. But just be cautious not to post too often inside any of these groups or you may come across as spammy and you really don't want to come across as spammy. 
Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you're using Facebook as a tool to promote your business, remember that Facebook is foremost a social media network. So keep a balance between engaging with your audience, providing valuable information, and of course, promoting your products and services as well. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in another video. If you haven't already subscribed, then do subscribe for more tutorials like this. Bye bye.